good morning. So maybe this is like just gonna be a thing um, from now on, but I just woke up. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Um, <clears throat> anyway, I figured I would do a, a reading. Um, yeah, I think this is just gonna have to be like a, it's a part of it. Oh, also, <laughs> so I did that reading the other day about stigmata. And I still have this lovely apparition on my face. So I just wanted to be really face to face about it. Um, yeah. By the way, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> I think I've mentioned this several times in the past. I'm going to try to say this in the most non-snarky way possible. But there's, yeah. Sometimes um, people think that a cold sore means that you have also gotten burnt elsewhere. That is not the case. There's not burning everywhere. This is secret societies, by the way. Some people just are more affected by unseen energies than others. I just want you to think about it. So <laughs> if you don't think that someone could develop an allergy to something um, unseen, right? <laughs> I just want you to realize that there are radio waves. So... You know, you just flip the radio on and off. So if you flip the radio on right now, you're going to hear music. And every single channel is already going through the air right now. If you've never had that moment, I was actually talking to someone about this yesterday. Um, if you've never had that moment where you're humming a tune to yourself in your head and then you go turn the radio on and that song is actually playing, you're probably not as tapped in as you might want to be. It's just a, that's happened to a whole bunch of people that I know. Um, it's really not that far fetched to be far more in tune with the world around you than what you originally expect on a deeper level. So, um, sometimes your physical body will show signs of that, obviously. <laughs> um, but it doesn't mean that, like, there's a deep-seated issue. Like, it doesn't always mean that there's, like, this pervasive, deep-seated issue. Sometimes it's just... A, a, this is number three, by the way in reverse meaning yeah sometimes that's just a, an apparition of these two entities like kind of um un literally this unseen um i do want to say force but i'm not going to i want to um, diversify the language on that so this is an unseen i want to say hand of the hand of the unseen. I don't know how to otherwise explain that. I'm going to use my deck and just pull randomly. Yeah, so all that glitters. I think I was talking about little girls being really attracted to sparkly things. And I'm just going to say it for all women. I don't think we ever really grow out of that. <laughs> wow, so my cat actually chose... She stepped on this card um, in a different deck this morning, um, right before I did this reading. So I just think these two obviously are, it's like, um, she's all that. I'm just 
seeing she's all that. Um, this is taking a bet on yourself. Being willing to um, reach out, touch faith, but this is um, a different type of energy. This is um, I guess I'm having a hard time verbalizing it because it's not a physical energy that <laughs> can typically be spoken on. Um, this is Puff the Magic Dragon. Reaching out and touching you while you're swimming. Not in a bad way, but just in a... Uh, tapping you on your shoulder. Kind of just letting you know that they're here. So anyway, I'm going to keep this kind of short. It was more so to help those of you who don't understand. Yeah. Um, this, this spark of energy that is going to be I, I feel like um, amplifying as time continues. So get excited. I'm going to try to actually just kind of, you know, bask in the ambiance of the fact that this is This is that. This is actually in the reverse. I'm going to be quite honest with you about that. But in the, it's in the upright towards me. So, anyway. So, anyways. Y'all have a great day.